At seven months old, John Michael Crawford was diagnosed with tuberous sclerosis, a genetic disorder that often causes developmental issues, including autism. So when his parents began to notice delays, they weren't sure where to turn. It hurts because as a mama, you want to be able to do and do and do, but you got to know it takes a village. The Crawfords, who live in Arkansas, expanded their village to include experts more than 1,500 miles away at UCLA's Semmel Institute in Los Angeles, where scientists are exploring an innovative approach using technology to bring cutting edge treatments to patients thousands of miles away. Every week they practice with their baby. Um, they upload their videos to a trained interventionist who's at the sites. The remote sessions are really the only reason we were able to participate in the program. We could do it on our schedule. We could do it in a space that he was familiar with, his toys. The therapy, called JASPER, is a science-backed method developed at UCLA that uses play to enhance children's development and behavior. The therapy can be implemented in infancy, long before treatment would normally begin. Scientists found early signs of autism in this group of infants who until now would never have received crucial early intervention. The earlier you can intervene, the earlier you can enrich that environment, the more likely you are to actually exact change in brain development and brain function. After a thorough assessment of the child. What's this? A leg. A leg. Therapists train parents to use the Jasper method in everyday play. So that's why every time he's talking to me, I'm <laughs> responding to him. Okay. Allowing them to improve every day and report back on their progress via telemedicine. Yeah. John Michael's parents have noticed improvements and are grateful for effective therapy so early in life. Pretty drastic improvements that uh, we've noticed not just on paper, but just interacting with him. Uh, it's, he's, he's grown leaps and bounds. If we close the gaps now, it'll just be helpful later in all kinds of areas. At UCLA's Semmel Institute for Neuroscience and Human Behavior, this is Anitra Hamper reporting.